Isha Foundation Rao, uh, Sadhguru's foundation, the Supreme Court at this point has stayed the Madras High Court's order for a police inquiry. In fact, the Supreme Court says all cases with regards to the Isha Foundation or Sadhguru must now be transferred to the Supreme Court. This is what the court has said. In fact, Chief Justice of India himself saying the status report which was to be submitted by the police to the Madras High Court has now to be submitted to the Supreme Court. Chief Justice also saying all coercive action with this regard against Isha Foundation will have to wait until further orders. CJI has interacted with two girls. In fact, the petition that was filed before the Madras High Court were by a man who claims that two of his daughters were forcefully made to stay at the Isha Foundation. They were brainwashed and fed a food that impacted their cognitive abilities and that they were made to stay at the foundation by force. The court now, the Chief Justice of India also observing that and taking, observing that pet petition filed at the Madras High Court saying that the two girls, the sisters, will also have to speak to the Supreme Court. Their interaction will happen online. In fact, the girls say on their part that they are living in the ashram voluntarily. But at the same time, you have the family members of those girls claiming that they are being forced to stay at the Isha Foundation. Now, we see that the Supreme Court has taken up this case, asking for all cases against the Isha Foundation now to be moved to the Supreme Court. Let me cut across to Kanu Sharda for more on that. Kanu, please give us more elaborate details on this case. Uh, what was the case that was before the Madras High Court against Isha Foundation? And the Supreme Court now taking this up, Suomoto. Uh, well, Naveena, the case of, uh, before the Madras High Court was a habeas corpus petition filed by the father of both these girls who are now 38 and 42 of age. They are both engineers by profession, but they have, you know, um, joined the, the Isha Foundation some eight years back and are, you know, uh, are, they are living there as monks. So, the, during the interaction with the Chief Justice of India today, they both categorically told twice that they are living voluntarily into the Isha Foundation and that there is, not, there is no harassment or nothing of that sort that has been portrayed by their father uh, before the Madras High Court. Madras High Court was dealing with the petition filed by the father and the father was alleging that lot of harassment and lot of uh, brainwashing has been done by the Isha Foundation on on her, on her daughters. So, so the daughters have now, you know, categorically said that you know they are living uh, peacefully there and they don't want to go back to their home. They are, you know, they are free to move out of in and out of ashram. Uh, in fact, one of the uh, one of the daughters have told the uh, the Chief Justice of India during the interaction that she has also participated in the marathon. And, uh, you know, she's free to do whatever she wants to. So, keeping everything in mind, uh, keeping all the uh, situation and after talking to the girls in person, the Chief Justice of India decided to stay the part of the order of the Madras High Court in which the Madras High Court uh, had asked the police personnel to go there and inquire and talk to all the, you know, pe all the people living over there and submit a report to the um, to Madras High Court. Since the Oh, Supreme Court has taken note of the petition filed by Isha Foundation today. The, all the cases, uh, everything will be transferred to the Supreme Court now. And whatever the police uh, has probed, uh, yesterday 150 police personnel had entered Isha Foundation on the Madras High Court order. So that uh, report, whatever the police has found out, will be submitted to the Supreme Court now. And the Supreme Court will now take the entire case uh, before them on October 15th. Back to you. All right. So the Suo, this is the Supreme Court taking up this case, Suo Moto Kanu, uh, and we understand that nearly 150 police personnel conducted an inquiry at the Isha Foundation ashram in Coimbatore uh, two days ago. So 150 police personnel on suspicion that girls were held captive against their wish, in against their wish in violation of their personal freedom and the family's wishes. They were kept in the ashram and cops landed up, as many as 150 police officers landed up at the foundation to investigate the matter. Do we know a lot more about this petition filed by the two girls' father before the Madras High Court that warranted the Supreme Court to take up this case? And is this a Suomoto case taken up by the top court? 
Fumoto case, the case was filed by Isha Foundation challenging the Madras High Court order. Because, right. You know, the police to go and probe the allegations levelled by the father of these two daughters. Uh, whether there are any kind of harassment or any kind of issues in the Isha Foundation or not. Uh, based on that, uh, that that order, uh, the uh, the police acted upon that order, and 150 police personnel went on to the Isha Foundation yesterday, and they found uh, they 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 uh, collected all the evidences that they wanted to. But since now the court, the Supreme Court has. Uh, you know, admitted the Isha Foundation's petition before them, and had stayed the Madras High Court order. So the police probe, whatever it was, whether it is in, um, whether it shows that there is some some kind of violation going on with the woman out there, or there is no violation, that report will now be submitted to the Supreme Court now because since all the cases related to uh, that particular case. Uh, and uh, will be transferred to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court has also asked the father of these two girls to also become a party in the case, and if needed, he can also represent uh, himself before the top court. So Supreme Court has not taken a true motor cognizance, but only right. only acted on the petition filed by the Isha Foundation before it. Right. So the Isha Foundation reached out to the top court after nearly 150 police personnel knocked at their doors. Uh, two days ago, acting on a petition or a complaint filed by two girls' father claiming that their, his daughters were kept in confinement against the will and wish of them. They were fed food that disturbed their cognitive abilities. A lot more, as he alleges, in that petition against Isha Foundation. The foundation slamming this as false, malicious campaign against Isha Foundation and has now reached the Supreme Court asking for relief and it appears the court has granted temporary relief.